that's a bit of slang that also dates from the 19th century to refer to a pushover, somebody who's easily pushed around. And then we have gangster, you know, Marco Rubio using this word to describe Russian President Vladimir Putin, referring to him as a gangster in Moscow with all the, all the slangy connotations that gangster carries with it as well. Linguist Ben Zimmer is executive editor of Vocabulary.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me. Thanks for working more and into your news. Support comes from BRCC Veterinary Specialty and Emergency Hospital, specializing in veterinary oncology, ophthalmology, cardiology, and more. Details at brcc.com. Support comes from Community Banks of Colorado, dedicated to personal service through direct, in-person communication for the small business community. Elbnks.com slash small business. You're tuned to Colorado Public Radio News, bringing you news from around the nation, the world, and from around Colorado. Here's CPR Newscast, twice each hour in morning edition and hourly through the day. We bring you in-depth reporting on issues that affect all of Colorado such as education, health, and the environment. Listen here or listen online at cprnews.org where you can search our coverage for topics of interest to you. That's cprnews.org. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Dave Mattingly. Refugees and migrants continue showing up at Croatia's border. But Croatia's Prime Minister says his country is overwhelmed by the numbers and is no longer processing them. They're being redirected to Hungary and Slovenia. At least 19 busloads of migrants were sent back to Hungary today. In The Hague, a journalist from Lebanon has been found guilty of one charge and cleared of another. The assassination of former Prime Minister Rafiq Hariri. Very short report. TV reporter Carl Hayat has been found guilty of contempt of court for defying an order to keep down online broadcasts where judges found exposed to protected witnesses. Hayat was clear of the main charge of interfering with justice. The U.S. Bank Tribunal has charged five men with involvement in the 2005 bombing that killed him.